I'm SirTapTap and welcome to Let's Play Grow RPG by Ice Maze. As you can slightly tell, this is a pretty direct sequel to, um, to, uh, Grow 3. Alright, you still have to drag it, actually. <laughs> That's a stronger indication of how close it is. Um, this is not quite, this is like, I've played this game before, but it was like, I want to say around like five, maybe more years ago. It's been a long time. Um, one thing about this game, version 0.0.1, huh, um, it follows a lot more, um, linear path, like, it, you'll, you'll see once we finish leveling up here, uh, it's a lot easier to get into than some of the more nonsense, or like, not nonsense, but like, well, yeah, nonsensical Grow games, like, Grow version 3 is like the craziest um, you know, nothing really logically connects. This one is, due to how it works, it's very straightforward and, um, you just sort of, it has a lot of strong hints as to what you messed up. More so than just, you know, oh, this thing wasn't level max, I guess I gotta place it earlier. Oh, like, right here, um, I'm not sure if we have, yes we did. Uh, I maybe I shouldn't have uh, This world is better than I intended it to be. Uh, I was just kind of randomly placing here. Oh good As we can see the castle there wasn't strong enough to fend off the dragon So even before we're finished putting in stuff we have a strong hint that we screwed up here uh, That's something I never really felt Like I understood what was going on with grow version 3. <laughs> oh This is actually pretty well. We have some things max and some things, you know level 1 so the way this one works, it really is like an RBG. So our little dude here goes, and you can see he fights the slimes. Depending on how much money he gets, he'll buy something here. Oh! He's already dead. So, what we messed up here was the castle was down. Um, so, hmm. I don't remember the exact order here, but... I think we want town fairly early. If I recall correctly, we actually want to stop the growth of the water. Or, I think the water stops him breaking certain stuff. I think we want to put water right about now. It's weird because I'm focusing on my past, like, remembrance, not like... I have beaten this like, a couple times. There we go. So as you can see, our forest leveled up there, and now that's upgrading this shop. Uh, I want to see this. I think that has three levels? Maybe it's just two? I don't think this would be quite perfect. I th I'm pretty sure this is pretty close. Honestly, the Grow Games, there's enough trial and error, you're... Like... <laughs> there's a reason I don't go in totally blind into most of these. Uh, Grow Maze worked out pretty well, but... Um, there's a reason there's walkthroughs for these games. Um, they're definitely beatable without a walkthrough, at least... I think Grow 3 kind of warrants one. Most of the others you can figure out um, through a mix of trial and error and figuring stuff out. You see, since the castle leveled up, he has this lightning attack. Now we bring that into the castle. As you can see, that he's all charred and stuff now. There's always one thing that levels, like, it doesn't get a chance to level up, but um, something else. Yes, here we go. Because this happened, this levels up, even though it was placed last. I think we screwed up the... Oh, wait. I think it may have accidentally... Ah, oh, nope. So close. Crap, what was my exact order? That... I think the later games show you your order. It's, it's a little hard to tell without... Some strong Final Fantasy vibes there. So now we have... <laughs> oh. Ah. 
Well, we, we make it further, as you can see here, but, um... We didn't have quite all the money we could because the town wasn't leveled up all the way. Didn't I place the town first, though? Hmm. One thing I really like about walkthroughs for... Jay's Games does walkthroughs for the Grow series. Um, I really like that they... They order it, well, usually they order it so that um, you can show just step by step. So I just wanted to see what you place first. And it's house. I'm pretty sure I placed house first before. Though. Hmm. Castle. I wonder if I placed water too early? Oh, 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 I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. We didn't get the... the trees didn't grow here early enough. That's when you want to cut off. He stops being able to break the ground once you put in the water. So there we go. So that grows up. That's what we messed up. And I think we can place everything in the same order we did last time now. So yeah, I, I think I placed the castle before the trees, which isn't how you do it. Sometimes the order of other stuff you place affects, like, even though we placed the town first, you can get to level up because of this tree here. <laughs> now, without having played the game before, you would not solve this in three attempts. Um, it probably took me, I would say probably more than six or so. I'm not sure if it took as many as ten, but... There's definitely lots of resets on my first playthrough of this. And if you do look up a walkthrough for the Grow Games, I do recommend looking up um, just, just the first thing. Like, just to confirm that you're right and, you know, sort of go from there. And if you're, if you're really stuck, look up number two and, you know, don't just look up the whole solution because that, that's not fun. Because often you're just missing like one weird logic point, at least in my experience. See, the guy goes in the forest now. We didn't have that before. A lot of times you'll get the idea right, but there's some interaction you're not accounting for. And so just, you know, knowing the exact order of- oh! Did I place the chest too- Oh, I placed the freaking chest too early. The chest is only two levels, the rocks are three levels. So as you can see here, we get the sword early now, which lets us keep a health. Uh, we also get a little bit more money. And we also get the key from the castle, so we don't have to buy... I don't think you can ever... No, you can't ever buy that key. But you can go over here. <laughs> I thought this was a little unusual logic, but that's, that's grow for you. We got bomb trees. And you just... <laughs> He just walked right past that guy. I forgot about that. Yeah, this is this is. I'm not sure I would say this is my favorite grow. <laughs> and you get to see his butt. There's lots of butts in Ibay's games, but uh, yeah, we're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna. <laughs> the one confusing thing. Well, I guess all grow games are kind of like that. It looks like you're gonna get all the way, but no. But we already know we don't have max, so. Oh, the dragon stops us. Dead. So yeah, that, that fire breath is a problem. So I, I think we have the right thing here, just... One important feature the later Grow games add is, um... Being able to skip the animations. In general, skipping animations is something more games really need to do. Right. Yeah, it is castle. Because so I gotta let the tree grow. No water. I'm pretty sure the tower needs four. 
but like, um, I'm still working on my review for Carpenter Dimension Neptune Victory 2, but the, um, the ability to skip animations in any game with any sort of repetitive gameplay, which is every game, pretty much, um, it's so important because, I don't know, this first, that's so weird, but it's, it's obviously important. Yeah, we need to level up those rocks, not the treasure chest. Uh, yeah, just not wasting the player's time is just really important to a lot of games, and it makes, you know, it, it can drag a game down pretty dang hard, in my opinion, depending on how repetitive it is or how, like, how many times you want to play it, even. Like, long respawn times would absolutely kill um, Super Meat Boy. Or, like, being forced to watch the story every time you replayed Binding of Isaac. People would just... That would that would not go. Parker. Crinkles. Crinkles. Scare the Parker. I'm surprised that still works. I figured he would get used to the crinkles in, like, two days, and it would stop working. But it seems to work. He's not even, like, super scared. He just... He just looks at the crinkles and he's like, eh, I, I'm, I'm just gonna go down now. It's almost like he just knows that's the sign for him to not be on the desk. Alright, so I think we're all good now. This will level up after he puts that down in there, I think, if I recall correctly. Yeah, there we go. Alright! Oh, and I'll have another series of these grow things all at once, and then I'll probably- I'll be taking a break, so you won't see all of them in a row still, because, uh... Puzzle games kind of give me a headache. I I've said this before, but... At work, I'm a programmer, and it it it's basically solving annoying puzzles. Well, sometimes, you know, there's more to that than that, but the more annoying parts feel like some annoying puzzles, and, uh... It just drains my desire to play too many puzzle games, so I'll, I'll probably finish up a few here today. We'll see that over a couple weeks, maybe. And, um... Like, because there's a fair few of these. There's... I think I'm maybe halfway through? Maybe? And there's some new ones that I don't even know the solutions to, so I don't want to... Um, I'd need to actually play those. Um... I don't really feel up to that today. I'm just going to play some games that I know kind of the solution to, and I can just sort of you know, brute force my way like I have here. You know, I knew I knew the town was important. Like, I knew just enough in this one to get through. Wait a minute. Oh, right! <laughs> I forgot about that little twist. I forget if you can open that chest without the, uh... If it's level one and you don't have the bomb. There's lots of neat ways this ends, um... If you have everything almost right, there's a lot of different ways you can die here. <laughs> Final fight's a little anticlimactic, other than that reducing his health bit, that's kinda neat. But, I think, I think the dragon's kinda the highlight of the little combat bits here, but... Yep, we won. That is Grow... <coughs> Grow RPG. Um, this is the first one that made me realize, wow, this is some pretty cool stuff. And then I found... I think I found Eyes Maze, the website, from this game. And then I ended up finding Grow Cube, uh, the earlier Grows, and there's a bunch... There's a, there's a bunch of new stuff, too. So yeah, that is Grow RPG. So tune in next time. There's a bunch more of these, and there's a... There's a playlist, I'll try to remember to put one of those little YouTube cards on the top right there, but uh, there's a playlist with all the Grow games if you want to see these. I definitely recommend playing them yourselves before you uh, watch too many, but uh, hopefully you get the picture here. 